Today, the wildlife officers visited a forest for an exclusive mission. It is to translocate an aggressive elephant to a safer, reserved forest, considering the safety of the elephant. The elephant has killed two villagers and has damaged the houses and cultivations of the villagers. Therefore, the prime objective of this translocation is to save its life from outraged farmers and villagers. They were tracking the elephant for five days and decided to capture the elephant and translocate him today. Sedation is essential to translocate an untamed wild elephant. The veterinarian fired the dart loaded with tranquilizing agent to the rump of the elephant. The moment the dart hits, the elephant starts to walk into the forest, but he couldn't wander too far. In a few moments, the elephant was subdued. Now, he is in an inactive state. The dosage of the medication does not completely immobilize the elephant, and it does not fall down completely. One officer cautiously reached the elephant to confirm whether the elephant is adequately sedated. Otherwise, their lives would be in risk during the attempt to translocate the elephant. The legs are noosed with strong ropes to restrain the elephant. Then, their attempt is to drag the elephant into an open land area where the transportation truck can be parked. After noosing the legs with strong rope loops, the veterinary surgeon administered a revival drug to help the elephant regain its consciousness. Then, the surrounding area is cleared using an excavator to facilitate the transportation vehicle. The excavator is mainly used to make way for the ground teams, including the transportation vehicle, in case of inaccessible areas. They showered the elephant with water to boost the elephant, as this process is rather tiresome and exhausts the elephant. They made a muddy ground so that the elephant would stay there without struggling until the transportation vehicle reaches the spot. Elephant translocation is normally undertaken by the Department of Wildlife Conservation to move wild elephants who may be causing crop damage and harm to humans in one particular area, after tranquilization, to another area which is possibly safer. Elephant translocation seems a rather simple and straightforward process. 
However, this simple action becomes much more complex when one has to relocate a four to five ton intelligent wild animal who is stronger than a bulldozer against its wishes. This complex process requires quite a bit of planning. Firstly, a proper, well-trained team has to be put together with an experienced veterinary surgeon to undertake the tranquilization. After assessing the area where the elephant is, the team carefully tracked the elephant. The team camped in the forest for five days to track the elephant. Choosing the site for tranquilization is very important because once tranquilized, the elephant has to be quickly loaded onto the transportation vehicle, which should be a properly designed one. Hence, the area chosen has to be free of large trees and other impediments in a relatively open area. There should be adequate backup staff and equipment such as bulldozers, backhoes, and strong tethering manila ropes. In the meantime, the ground is dug with the excavator to make a ramp to land the trailer of the transportation vehicle in line with the ground where the elephant is standing. The truck is carefully positioned with the rear door flap opened and a ramp made of earth built around it to facilitate the elephant's movement into the truck. The elephant is pulled and cajoled into moving closer to the truck. With some effort, finally the elephant is loaded onto the truck and secured. The elephant is moved away to a safer region for its own safety. He has killed two people in the village and damaged the houses and cultivations of farmers. There's a high risk for this elephant to be killed by outraged farmers using gun shootings or explosive traps. That's why the wildlife officers decided to translocate the elephant. This is a strategy to mitigate the human-elephant conflict. Humans have encroached into lands that wild elephants have used for centuries. Due to their strong, home-ranging behavior, elephants will not adapt and move away. They continue to stake their claim to their lands and thus begins the conflict with man. The wildlife officers try their best to mitigate the dangerous effects of human-elephant conflict by applying such strategies. 
They tied the elephant to the trailer to avoid shocks and falling down during the transportation. There should be careful consideration given to the distance of transportation. The elephant was fed with banana trunks to prepare him for a long journey. They started the operation in the morning. It was in the evening when they finally finished the operation of loading the elephant into the transportation truck. Then comes the ride to its new home. Normally, elephant translocations are done in the evening or at nighttime to avoid heat stress to the elephant during the translocation. Darkness has covered the surroundings when the truck reaches its destination. Once the release site is reached, the rear door of the truck is lowered, a ramp is built, and the elephant is carefully let loose. With the effects of the tranquilization fully worn off by now, it will quickly run off into the surrounding area.